Hi everyone, here's a short video of how to connect uh, to the Honda CRF250L uh, factory power outlet. Uh, in order to do that, uh, you can use uh, this type of plug, which you can purchase uh, from eBay and possibly other sources. So the idea behind it is instead of uh, trying to cut into some wires or connect directly to the battery, you're using the thing that Honda designed for plugging in accessories. Uh, what we need to do now is to find this type of connector and from what I've read, it's behind the headlight. Uh, so we're gonna have to start from removing the headlight. The headlight is secured with four bolts, uh, two, two, two on each side, and you can see the mounting points, and as if I can point them out, uh, there is one over here, and there is one over here, and the same thing is repeated on the other side. Uh, one thing that you need to bear in mind when you're removing headlight, the mounting point over here has, got a has a bush that is actually welded to the mounting point. So when you remove the headlight, you're gonna have to slide it this way uh, to remove remove it from the mounting points. Otherwise, it's gonna pivot on that and won't let you, will not let you pull it forward. Um, so now we're gonna look for this uh, connector. Okay, so after we've removed the headlight, uh, the plug that we're looking for is fairly easy to find. Apologies for the lighting conditions, it's not ideal, but hopefully you can see where it is. Uh, it's in that harness of wires over here, and you have to use a narrow screwdriver um, just to press on that tongue in order to release it. And if you have a look at this plug, uh, I think they've used that, they've sealed the ends of it uh, with rubber plugs uh, in order to prevent any debris from coming into there. Uh, so we're gonna remove that and replace that with the plug that I purchased on eBay. Uh, but we're gonna put our own connectors on the back of it and then plug it in there. Before we connect it, I just wanted to quickly show you what I'm planning to plug into it. And the first thing would be a Moto Power USB charger, which I purchased on Amazon for about 12 or 15 pounds. Uh, it's 3.1 amp charger. And the idea behind it is that I'm gonna uh, put a um, USB uh, iPhone charging cable through here, seal it with a bit of silicone and mount it somewhere here. So it sits on top of the light. There is sufficient amount of room if you mount it over here for it to sit there without interrupting anything. Uh, so that's the idea and then I'll have the cable running uh, directly onto my phone which uh, I'm planning to mount on the quad lock um, mounting point. So that would be the one thing that I'm gonna connect to it. I'm also contemplating of connecting a 12 volt um, uh, lighter socket and mount it somewhere on the uh, on the handlebars and connect it to that as well uh, in case I want to have more options i.e. Um, if I want to charge something else that is not my phone or, or if there is an emergency and I have to plug in a, a mini compressor or something like this I want to have an option to do so to a 12 uh, through a 12 volt um, lighter socket so uh, I'm gonna have to see if I can connect both of these devices uh, through that connector if there is enough room for the cables and uh, well if it can handle the current although under normal usage conditions I'm not planning to use any any more than than just a um, you know USB charger or, or or something similar in the lighter socket so I, I don't an, an anticipate that to be a problem anyway we're gonna have to see Okay, so what we have here is um, a little bit of a harness that I've made that's got all the wires cut to appropriate length to allow for the 12 volt socket to sit on the handlebars and for this to sit under the windscreen so you won't be able to see that. Um, I've also looked at those connectors uh, in the in the Honda plug and although I could fit two wires into here uh, I really wanted to use the factory seals uh, that came with it so uh, I decided to use the thicker wires uh, into it and I'm gonna solder them onto those connectors and then insert them here with the factory seals uh, and then uh, I've soldered the uh, 
USB charger onto those thicker wires. I'm gonna put some shrink wraps on it and uh, seal it with with some with some tape on top of that. Maybe put some rubber sleeving uh, on all of the wires just to give them a little bit of the extra protection. And um, because uh, I wanted to uh, make sure that in if something was to happen, i.e. Uh, if something got shorted or something like this, uh, I'm not gonna uh, damage the factory um, accessories outlet. I I'm pretty sure that it's it's uh, it's got a separate fuse. However, better to be safe than sorry. So I've got seven and a half amp fuse going to the USB charger, and I've got ten amp fuse going to the twelve volt socket. So both got separate fuses and uh, I feel a lot more comfortable with that um, so I'm gonna finish it off and then I'm gonna show you the installation procedure okay so before finishing the harness I've used the basic multimeter I've turned the, I've turned the ignition on and just checked which out of uh, those two terminals is positive and uh, I've scratched it on the plug so if you look at the plug from the uh, from the top uh, where the little tongue goes and uh, the, the positive terminal at least in my case and I'm sure it will be the same on other bikes uh, is on the right hand side so I've just marked it here so I know how to um, how to insert the wire in it turned out that fitting these connectors is an absolute pain uh, it might be due to the fact that uh, I'm using perhaps slightly too thick wires uh, and it's hard to accommodate the rubber seals but yeah they didn't go in in the way I, I, I anticipated I had to put them 180 degree uh, turn them 180 degree and uh, they are in all the way to the end they seem to be sitting firmly but it probably has taken me bloody 30 minutes uh, just to fit these two uh, connectors so uh, yeah um, a bit of a pain but I'm gonna connect it to the bike now and see if it works as intended and take it from there. Okay, I've plugged the harness in. Everything seems seem to be working correctly. So I've now put a bit of a, a insulation tape around it and just to give it a bit more protection. And I also cut out the, mm, uh, cut out the hole in the end cap of the USB charger. I'm gonna use it because it's um, it's supposed to be watertight. So I'm gonna use it to plug in the cable, uh, close it around the USB plug, and then put a bit of a silicone around the edges or perhaps uh, something along these lines uh, to give it a bit of a um, water and debris protection. Although I don't anticipate any issues under underneath the um, windscreen. Okay, so here we are. The, um, the harness that I've made is already uh, connected uh, to the connector on the bike at this point. And then it goes up here and that's where the uh, seven and a half amp fuse is for that. Um, and I've tried putting the uh, light on and once that's clipped in place everything fits in perfectly so i think i'm gonna leave it over here i've tried two different locations i've tried clipping it over here or here but there are a lot of uh, cables that move when you turn the uh, handlebars so uh, i think it's probably safer to keep it here where nothing's gonna rub against it so and uh, that's the usb uh, wire which is plugged in here and it will be plugged in here permanently and I've rooted it underneath there so it comes out it comes out near the um, original Honda wires over here and then I'm gonna have it attached uh, to the phone uh, and possibly um, maybe shorten it or pull pull back some of it uh, so so I don't have a, such a long cable. On the other hand, if I wanted to charge something in my pocket, uh, it's probably a, a, not a bad idea to have cable of that length available. Um, and then of course there is a 12 volt socket which is mounted over here. I'm not gonna use it, uh, it's only gonna be here for emergencies or if I want to charge two things at the same time, i.e. my phone and perhaps something, something else. So I'm gonna uh, put the lamp back on now and uh, I'm in the headlight back on 
um, starting from from the left hand side because of that that bush here so I'm gonna have to s slide it from the left and then fit the rest of it for bolts simple as that uh, obviously connect the um, connect the light bulb as well so that's it thanks for watching and if you found this useful or you've got any questions just write them down in the comment sections below all the best